Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am Naquan Jordan, the AI protagonist, and in this video we're going to be using ChatGPT to generate prompts for stable diffusion. So in order to test out these prompts, I'm going to be using C-Art and Leonardo AI. And this was actually something that was suggested in the comment section of one of my previous videos. So I do want to thank you for the suggestions and keep them coming. So I have two different formulas that I created. This one for um, just general images and then another one for portrait style images. So we're going to start off with this general image. So what you do is you just take the formula, type it into chat GPT, click enter and see if it actually understands the formula. It says certainly to create a stable diffusion image prompt based on your formula, you can fill in the blanks with specific details. Here is an example. And so it does give an example of an image, which is an image of a majestic dragon soaring through a vibrant sunset sky rendered in the hyper-realistic style, highly detailed with ethereal lighting effects. So I'm going to actually, before I try out this example, I'm going to tell it to create some more prompts. All right, so I told it to create five prompts using this formula and it's going to create five more prompts. So we got an image of a enigmatic forest spirits, an image of a futuristic cityscape, Mythical Phoenix rising from the ashes, a serene underwater scene with bioluminescent sea creatures, an image of a bustling market in an ancient desert city. So these are all really good. So I do want to take a look at this. Uh, let me see this futuristic cityscape. Let's take a look at that one. So we are going to switch to, um, let's go with Dream Shaper. We'll go with Dream Shaper. Put in the prompt. I'm going to use a we use three by two aspect ratio for this one. And click on generate. And in Leonardo, I'm going to use also use Dream Shaper. Dream Shaper V7. Copy and paste the prompt. And I'm going to use we use a three by two aspect ratio here as well and click on generate and let's see what it creates. And here are the first set of images and take a look at that. That looks really cool. Really loving the, um, the neon colors. Uh, love the water. And here, so this kind of looks like something out of like a Blade Runner or just, you know, your normal sci-fi futuristic stuff. Looks really, really good, really nice. And that's of course inside of a building, looking through a window. Looks great, some really nice images. If we take a look at Leonardo, we can see Leonardo has actually added some stuff to the scene, making it look a little bit more lively really nice looking futuristic card there so these are some great great images so very good very good on the first try let's grab something else i'm gonna grab this image of a phoenix just because i'm curious to see what the ai will do with the phoenix and so this time I'm going to try a different model. I'm gonna go with Rev Animated. Cause when I look at um, portrayed in an epic fantasy illustration style, I like Rev Animated for illustration type stuff. So we're going to go with that one there. Now here in Leonardo Idol, I think Leonardo has the Rev Animated model. So I think I'm gonna go with I'm going to go with uh, Dream Shaper 6. So go with that one. And we're going to click on Generate. So here are the images in C Art, and here is the Phoenix. And it's looking really good. Very beautiful looking Phoenix. They got it all kinds of different colors on it, and the background looks really good. Uh, this one looks like it does have an extra wing there, but besides that, everything else looks good. 
So we got some great images, great images created in C art from the new formula. Let's see what Leonardo AI looks like. And here we go with the Dream Shaper 6 with Leonardo AI. And these look really good as well. That in the background, I'm not quite sure what that is. It looks cool. Doesn't quite make sense though. And this one actually does have some fire coming off the Phoenix. Uh, this one looks really good as well. And so does this one. So we look, it looks like we got a winner with our general image formula. Create some real nice looking images. So I'm going to create a new chat and I'm gonna use our portrait formula now. I'm gonna paste that one in there. So certainly to create a stable diffusion image prop using the gimmick formula, you can fill in the details as follows. So it's basically the same thing. And then it gives an example. The photo of a scene contemplated artists painting a vivid mural wearing a bohemian chick outfit. Oh, wow. I actually do want to see that. But first, I will tell it to create some new props. All right. So I told it to create five new props using this formula, and it did create five more. Photo of a daring adventurous explorer climbing a rugged mountain. Photo of a exuberant, carefree dancer leaping gracefully in mid-air. A photo of an intense, focused chef expertly chopping ingredients in a bustling kitchen. A photo of a jubilant, uh, jubilant musician playing a soulful melody on a vintage guitar. A photo of a contemplative bookish scholar engrossed in reading ancient texts in a quiet library clad in uh our academic robes oh man okay so i am going to definitely check out this example so i want to do this one first and then i'm gonna have to figure out which out of those five there's some really good examples here so first off now this one was a scene of a someone painting a mural so i'm going to switch to a different um Let's see, let's go with the uh, Hello Photo Box. So I'm going to use um, a more realistic model for this one. And I'm actually gonna change the aspect ratio as well. I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna go with uh, three by four on this one. We'll go with three by four. That's more of a portrait aspect ratio. And then we'll generate on that one. And we'll jump over into Leonardo. And I'm going to use, I'm gonna use the photo reel. And I'm going to change the aspect ratio and click on generate. And let's see what happens. And here is the first set of images. So we got a woman um, kind of just leaning on the mural. She's not really painting on it. She's kind of just posing in front of it. But she got, uh, this one's almost like she's painting. She's like checking it in this one. But you gotta admit, these are some very nice looking images. Really nice looking, very realistic looking images. If we check on Leonardo AI, and here we go. So. Once again, she's not actually painting. She's kind of just standing in front of it. And this one, it looks like she's actually painting. So that one looks good. The rest of them, she's just kind of posing in front of the mural, like she's happy with her work. Uh, this one, I might need to do some upscaling to fix the face, but everything else looks good. So these are some really, really good images. Let's check out one of the other ones. So I'm gonna go with this first one. Photo of a daring adventurer exploring, climbing a rugged mountain peak, wearing protective gear against a breathtaking sunset backdrop, taken with a wide angle lens, highly detailed with a rugged and weathered skin. Uh, ultra uh, utilized dynamic, I don't even know what that is. Cheerio school lighting, I don't know. I don't know what that is, but we'll see if um, Stable Diffusion knows what that is. 
So we're going to try the same model, um, same aspect ratio, I just put the prompt in and I'm going to do the same thing here. Keep everything the same, hit the prompt and we're going to see what happens. And here are the images of our mountain climber. So, but this one uh, looks a little weird. Looks like they got two different images coming in and the, the detail on the character is not very good because of how small it is. This one is much better, much better. It's a much more zoomed in, detailed. You can see the sunset in the background. The face looks good. I might need to upscale it a little bit to get better details on the face, but everything else looks really good. Uh, this one looks awesome. Looks really good. So you can see, of course, sunset in the background. You can see him actually doing some mountain climbing, which is really cool and great detail on the face. Excellent details there. This one, once again, because it's so far away, the details get kind of smudgy on character faces but everything else looks good. Really like this image there, great image. Let's uh, jump into Leonardo. And all of our Leonardo images are closer up, which is good. This one, we would need to um, upscale it to fix the detail, but everything else looks good. This one is awesome, incredible image. Really like this one, very well done. This one looks really good too. And look at the sky and that sunset back there. Just great looking images. This one, once again, because this subject is so far away, I will have to fix the details and upscaling, but everything else looks absolutely perfect. So I'm going to try one more prompt, uh, just, just because some of these look really good. I'll try this last one and that will be it for the video. So this one was uh, one in a library surrounded by books. Uh, this one is going to be a tough one because there's going to be multiple people in the shot and the AI does kind of struggle with uh, having multiple people. So we will see how it looks. And here is the new results. So this actually um, was not realistic, like it was semi-realistic, but Still looks really good though. Look at the detail in her hair, her face, the books in the back. Awesome, awesome. Just a great, great job with these images. Really liking these. So they didn't quite come out like I thought they would, but they still came out pretty good. Still came out pretty good. And here in Leonardo AI, you can see these are also really good images. Um, some of them, the subject is a little too far away, but everything else looks really good. Very good. All right, so that is pretty much it for this video. Uh, thanks again for the suggestion on creating this, um, these chat GPT formulas. So it's actually pretty easy. If you go to the community feed and you look at images that were already created, what you can do is you can kind of just break down the prompt and try to figure out a way to make ChatGPT recreate the prompt. So that way you can easily go in and um, edit these formulas yourself or just, <clears throat> or just go ahead and create some new formulas. Actually not, not that hard at all. It does take, it's a little time consuming, but it's something that you can easily figure out. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and I will catch you guys in the next video. Yes, I'm gonna put a flag.